Section 2.4, subsection 2.4.1. So we're going to start talking about work and energy in electrostatics uh, now that we know about the potential, the electric potential. And this first section kind of connects how the electric potential and work and energy are, are uh, you know, really pretty similar ideas. So we start with the, um, you know, some charges distributed across space in some way. And what we're going to do is we're going to take charge Q and move it along some path. Uh, from point A to point B. Okay, so the classical way to determine the work done to move that charge is we start with the formula work equals the integral of the force dot dl. And we're going from A to B. Okay, well, what's the force? the the part The particle is going to experience a force due to the other particles, the the source charges of uh, Q E. Right, so we have to exert a force in the opposite direction in order to move that particle. So minus Q E vector that DL vector. Okay, so we can pull out that minus Q because it's constant. We're not changing the charge as we go through the field. And now we have this integral right here, which you should recognize that as the potential. Well, minus the potential actually. So we have V of B, and then minus minus v of a and multiplying through you get basically q times v of b minus v of a okay so um another way if we divide through by q we see that work over q is equal to the difference in potentials b minus ah extra parentheses forget about it so uh this um this shows that the work it takes to move a charge through the field is just the charge times the potential between the two points you're moving through. And of course the path is irrelevant. It doesn't matter what path you take um, do, because the, the electric field doesn't have any curl to it. And also the potential is really just the work divided by that charge. That's all it really is. Now if we take our reference point O, so if we take our reference point O at infinity, then the place we started from, VA, uh, if we have a well-behaved field and potential will be zero so we can really just say the work to move a charge from infinity to a certain point is just equal to that point that you're moving it to B, huh? D, whatever A, whatever the point is, P. Let's use P. Okay, so the, the energy it takes to move a charge Q into a particular point is just equal to the potential times the charge. It's pretty simple. That's all you really need to know.